Good morning. Today is uh, First Friday, so that brings lots of people to Mass. And um, it, we're also hosting uh, the faculty and staff of St. John the Baptist Hybrid School, so uh, they're here for a retreat, so we've got a few more people at Mass. Um, Sacred Heart is an important um, devotion. Uh, this, in fact, now that I think about it even more, um, right, Jesus um, appeared to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque in uh, France and said there needs to be reparation for all the um, horrible things done against my name. Well, how appropriate. Um, I don't know if it was real or not, or if it was just one of those made-up internet things, but last week I saw this thing where supposedly the power went out in Paris, and the only building that was left illuminated was the, Basil was the Basilica of Sacre Coeur, Sacred Heart, um, and, you know, it was all the internet, people were like, look, see, God's, you know, God told me through the internet uh, something important's happening. I don't know if that's real or not. I don't, I, you guys believe too much of what you read on Facebook. You do. Uh, you should switch over to X and follow Elon Musk <laughs> and see what Elon has to say. He's, he, he knows what's going on. Um, anyway, um, but it's true, not just the stuff that we get outraged about that we see on TV, um, but the things within our own community um, that are outrages against Christ. Um, we are having a conversation last night at dinner um, had some folks over and we were talking about, um, you know, things that you're not allowed to say. Um, and um, there's that one word that you're not allowed to say. You're not even allowed to say the letter that it begins with and refer to it as that word, right? Everyone knows what I'm talking about. And we were saying people get more offended by even kind of talking about the word than using the name of the Lord in vain. And there's something deeply wrong with that right? That we would, we would say it's more okay to blaspheme God than to say a word that society has said you're not allowed to say. And really that's kind of the, the way that society and religion have interacted. And if you go back, it kind of started in France. All the problems are French. Um, they, they had their revolution there, right? And they said, we don't need God anymore. Let's start cutting everybody's heads off. Um, and yeah, we just decided we don't need God. We can do our own thing. We can make ourselves gods. And no, that doesn't just go back to the French Revolution and the Enlightenment. It goes all the way back to the fall. It goes back to Adam and Eve saying, yeah, well, did he really say that? I don't know. What, what, what's the worst that could happen if we do the, the one thing God told us not to do? What's the worst that could happen? And so we live in a world of blasphemy. We live in a world um, that mocks God. We live in a world that um, wants nothing to do with God. But here we are on Friday morning at 9 a.m. Gosh, I'd say there's nearly 100 people in here. Good for you. Good for us. But there's still more to be done. Right? It's not enough to just come and sit in church. It's how we live our lives, how we call others to holiness, how we deny ourselves good things. We do penance, we do acts of reparation for the Sacred Heart. Father Michael and Father Jack were giving me a hard time. They said that you're not supposed to have redundant images in the church. And they said, you've got, you know, original Sacred Heart, and then you've got Polish Sacred Heart. Uh, I was like, those are fighting words, okay? Don't, don't be... Don't be talking about Polish Sacred Heart in a bad light. But truly, we have to ask ourselves, what, what can I do? What more can I do? I already come to Mass every day. I already try to, um, to pray and to, to do the will of God. Maybe I even already do penance. Well, maybe we didn't need to do more penance, right? Jesus told his apostles certain demons could only be cast out by prayer and fasting. Do we pray and do we fast enough? Fridays are a day of fasting. They're a day 
uh, in which we're supposed to do something that reminds us of the crucifixion. Three o'clock, especially on Fridays. In fact, there's a group that gathers here in this very church every Friday at three o'clock to pray and offer reparation. So on this first Friday, uh, let us ask through the intercession of St. Margaret Mary, through, through the intercession of all of the, the holy saints of France, there are a great many, right? Joan of Arc, um, King Louis, King St. Louis. Um, yeah, there's just all sorts of saints from that God-forsaken country. Um, let us ask their intercession that they may continue to um, pray for us and that God himself may draw us more and more into his most holy and sacred heart.